Earlier this year, there is a video posted called The Best Way to Get Frostwood in Roblox Lumber Tycoon 2 2022. The video is uploaded by Games42. It is called The Best Way to Get Frostwood in Roblox Lumber Tycoon 2. Now, I don't know if this person did this false video on purpose, but this is not the best way to get Frostwood in, in Lumber Tycoon 2. I'm going to go under the assumption that this person unintentionally gave out not the fastest way to get Frostwood, all right? That's what I'm going to assume here, all right? Do not send hate to this creator, all right? But in this video, I'm going to show you the real fastest way to get Icewood in Lumber Tycoon 2. And you don't need two sticks of dynamite. I mean, you might, but most of the time, you only need to use one. Also, I'm really close to 300 subscribers. If I hit 300 subscribers before or after my deadline, which is the official start of summer, I'll chop down every single ice tree in one video. Before you ever attempt to get Frostwood or Icewood, that people also call it Icewood, you need to get a vehicle, truck, car, doesn't matter, any anything that you could drive with in this game, and you need to head over to Bob's Shack. So I can like go through there and up past Woods Arrest or I could go around here from over there. Now, I want to say that slot over there, that slot is the closest slot to Icewood. So if you can get that slot in a public server, go for it, all right? Or if you're in a private server, yeah, go for that slot, all right? Because that is the closest slot to Icewood. So you buy... You press C to chat with Saranok, and then you say it's a deal to lower the bridge, all right? It costs $100, 100 money in Lumber Titan 2, all right? Just wait for the bridge to come down. It's almost down. All right. Go past the bridge, and then there's multiple ways you can go to get to Bob's shack. The quickest way is if you take a little shortcut here. I could have went, like, on the other side of that rocks and came up through here, but I guess I didn't. So go in between to get to here but yeah that's over go between um fancy furnishings go over here right on the side here should be where bob shack is yeah right there not up there um right here is where bob shack is if you didn't know stock of seasons will appear here like pumpkins will appear here every october all right and there is usually some stuff for christmas on that shelf for stocking up anyways buy two sticks of dynamite for 440 money yeah, just put them on the counter. By the way, left click to on an item to like pick up and stuff. Once you, oh yeah, it's over here. My bad. Once you get your items, once you get um, the dynamite, all right, get back to your base, all right. And you want to hurry up because you don't want to have to buy the bridge again because that not only will that waste time, but it'll also waste money. Not much money though, so don't worry about the money part. Okay, so I'm heading back to um, the bridge. Hopefully everyone knows where to go. Just go through there. Yep, it should be easy to follow, all right? Now, if you're like me, I like to stock up on a ton of dynamite because I get ice wood all the time, and I make a lot of ice wood videos if you don't know, all right? Um, you don't have to do this. Only like only stock up on dynamite if you're going to get a lot of ice wood. By the way, I'm taking a little shortcut. I'm going through here. And right over here is my base, by the way. See, I stock up on dynamite because I get ice wood all the time. By the way, ice wood, I'm pretty sure it's better to grind. Yeah, ice wood is better to grind than lava wood, actually. So that's why I get it all the time. And it's actually quite fun. So put your truck here. Get out. Get one of the sticks of dynamite. Bring it over. Move between the rocks. Now, you can get past these rocks without using dynamite, but it is really hard. You need to, like, rotate your truck with a blueprint. Um, so, I'm just going to do this. And plus, you want, you, um, if you don't bring any dynamite over, then how are you supposed to get back with your trees? I mean, I guess you probably could, but it's extremely hard. So this makes it a whole lot easier. Like, you have to do, like, some kind of thing where you prop the tree up against the rock, climb up the tree, and then, like, go on top of the rock, and then, like, tilt the tree up, and then, like, try and get it over, and then it might get stuck, and yeah. You, okay, you park the other stick of dynamite right next to the entrance here, all right? That is just in case you get trapped in here with the ice trees, all right? I mean, technically, you could get them across, but it's better to have a stick of dynamite so you can get them out easy and quick. All right, get, so you can get the ice trees out easy and quick. 
but the chances are you're probably not going to need to get um use the other stick of dynamite so yeah just go across here take a right well no like take a right from the entrance then go up this path here all right i hope everyone was watching um where i was going while i was talking all right just just go up this path here it's pretty simple go up past here up there all right and then once you go up here just take a sharp turn over here and then take a left and go into here then take a left and go up R really this is really straightforward all right just go here and then loop around and go up there like so very good go just continue on the path really really simple then what you're going to want to do is go down here do not go down here go here you if you are on xbox or mobile you probably you have less chances of making this unless you're really good on mobile and xbox it's best to do this on pc you, oh, very ironic that i i mess up the the rock bridge first try let me try again i feel like a lot of irony has happened to me recently if you fall down go back up it's all right if you fall down you might make a mistake or two all right but it's really not that difficult to get onto here look simple just get keep your wheels on focus on keeping your wheels on try not to talk while you're going up here like i am right now i'm showing a poor example see my wheel got stuck to the right because i wasn't fully focused you, maybe it's because i have adhd and i need to fully focus to be able to get the truck up anyways go here be a little careful i actually was not focused and i actually screwed up right here and i i fell down the the hole here so i had to go all the way back up don't want to do that all right just go up here I, at first, when I went through this, I used to get stuck on there, but not anymore. Boom! There it is! This is where the ice trees are, all right? So, um, I usually chop four or five ice trees. I mean, you could chop six down. Six is, like, the ultimate max you could do. So, you could either stack this up on your truck and then drive your truck down there, or just individually take the trees down here what what i usually do and if you watch some of my ice whip videos what i do is i put a couple trees on the truck and basically when i'm done i'll drive the truck down the ramp because that's what i'm going to do in a second with like two or three trees on there as well as like the rest of the trees i'll just toss down because you know i don't want so too many trees being on the truck at once because then like they could you know, it can ruin your trip down the ramp. So, this is where you drop the tree. Make sure you don't fall off. You know, toss this down, I guess. Yes, very good. So, I'm going to get this tree here. All right. I'm going to get um, six trees just to show you that you could get six trees. All right. So, this is the fourth one, I believe. If you want to, use your truck to your advantage. If you're, like, worried, like, if you, like, fell too many times on the rock bridge, then absolutely every moment you get, you might want to use your truck to like, like you might want to drive your truck around here just to save a little bit of time instead of walking to get each tree all right that's a little strategy you could do to, to help save a little bit of time okay i think that tree might fall off because of the way that's put on there these are all eventually going to fall off because they're going down the ramp all right so let's go down the ramp do not press w or else you'll ruin the momentum you'll get from here just like that make sure you have a tiny floor blueprint as well in here just in case if your truck flips upside down you can get a tiny flu floor blueprint you can press r to rotate it all right there's also t but then that there's like a different function all right um try that out on your own time all right it could like get your truck stuck in the ground but yeah try that out on your own on your own time that the, i'm not gonna explain that in this video is what i'm saying all right so what you want to do is gather all the trees do not chop them up until you get to your base that is something i want to say do not chop them up because though the little branches will get stuck in the snow and then it, they'll be a lot more difficult to get out and then you won't get out before the 10 minutes is up when the rocks come back and then you'll have to use the second stick of dynamite and then yeah you know like picking the logs out of the snow is not fun so just get these trees here you know stack them up like how i'm doing it here this is like strategically stacking them up all right putting them on by the way heath haskins comb primate gave me the idea like about a year back to like stack the trees like this shout out to him all right best lumber titan 2 youtuber there ever is to exist either him or lumber titan i i i can't decide 
it, it's actually, it might be a tie. Either Lumber Titan or Heath Haskins Co-Primate is the best. I don't know. So once you have all your trees on here, make sure you don't run into any trees here. Look, look at this. You're back in time. Well, there's one more little problem. You gotta get the stick of dynamite. All right, so I'm gonna get out, get a stick of dynamite, or get a stick of dynamite, get the stick, second stick of dynamite. With this method, you don't need to use your stick, second stick of dynamite most of the time. If you fail on the rock bridge too many times, or if you're a little too, like if you're a little too slow, all right, the rocks will come back, and yeah, don't blame me, that's just um, you being slower at it. It's okay if you're slower at it too, like maybe you're not too advanced at the game, maybe you're starting the game, or maybe you can't just like do things quickly. That's alright, I'm not trying to make fun of anyone who can't do things quickly. What on earth is going on here? I'm trying to like drive forward so that the tr trees get a can get off. Now this is how I sawmill my trees. I get all the trees next to my sawmills there, right? I'm going to be turning these all into plank dice wood so I can um, sell them, alright? And then I get my sick of dynamite, and I can just add it back to the pile. Technically, this was never added to the uh, to the pile in the first place because I went to Bob Shack to show you guys where Bob Shack is. I have a little system. Every everyone, like, chances are you just have a sawmill. If you're, like, new to the game, you just have a sawmill, alright? Um, so just, like, Put your truck wherever, I guess. I don't know. Um, and then just, like, chop up the trees and then put them in the sawmill. What I do is I put a a truck at the end of the conveyor there. All right? Like, you see how the conveyor's connected to the sawmill? Right? And all the planked wood will go into the truck. That's how I have the system. So then I take the trees in, chop them right at the edge. Like, the edge points. Like, the points where they connect. If you don't, then they won't properly disconnect. Well, actually, they will. Actually, let me... Get... What I was trying to say is you want to cut it here so that all the pieces break off. That's what I was trying to say. I'm sorry. If you cut too far down or up, then you will not properly disconnect all the pieces. Let me show you an example of not properly disconnecting a piece. This is a bad example because it's only one piece. But if this had, like two pieces connected to here then there would be two pieces stuck together on this piece you guys get what i'm saying put the logs into the sawmill all right um i recommend having a big sawmill if you can with the sentence three and um what is that 2.6 i think then 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 on the small sawmill for the smaller pieces all right that's what i recommend for you guys all right so yeah i also recommend having like a a straight conveyor and then a funnel conveyor um, outside of your um, sawmill and it, I recommend like setting up your sawmills like I have it here just the I'm talking about these two having the small one like the edge of this just like a little over this sawmill here like so it's like like see that ends there that also ends there so that these both fall into the conveyor there see that pretty cool huh now, I am actually going to show you where the wood cell is, all right? right? Like, I know I can point to the direction, but I'll still show you, all right? It's going to be a part of the tutorial. I don't care. Let me tell you guys this. You may or may not know this, but if you have logs and you put them on your base, they will not save. You need to sawmill the logs in planked wood in order to save it. And you don't have to sell your wood, all right? I recommend, like, go and get nice wood and then selling it to grind for it. But, you know, I actually do use some ice with a build like I did here. You know, I have the build power, so I have this whole system that turns it into little one-by-one -one units. I'm going to say that just so you guys don't get confused. Oh, I mischopped that. See, so don't chop it there. Um, yeah, you could just keep this, let this sit dormant on your base and then sell it to a player, I guess. But that's very, that's not really a good idea because then the player would be like, nah, I'm just going to go get this myself. So, yeah, I, I act, as a matter of fact, I actually tried selling ice wood in, um, well, like lava wood, no, lava wood, gold wood, and zombie wood to diff other players, like just planked wood, um, and they never sold. They absolutely never sold. I thought they might, but they never, they never did. I charged like a little bit of profit, but still, people probably just wanted to get the, um, woods themselves, all right. Now, if you have blue wood or banana wood, that'd be a different story. That wood is harder to get. All right, there's a couple things I want to point out. Um, oh, geez. Maybe I shouldn't have put these in. That one. 
Uh, one thing, if you ha only have a small sawmill, can't get the big sawmill, then turn it up to max settings, all right? And just put all the pieces in. Or average it out to like maybe like 1.4 by 1.4 or something like that. Like put like a compromise, like a like a, like a centered number so that all like the smaller pieces can like get sawmilled as well, all right? Um, that deserve to be sawmilling, all right? Don't like skip out on all the small pieces because they actually do add up, all right? Um, also, there's no specific axe that chops this type of tree better than any other axe in the game. They kind of all are the same. I mean, the cave, the cave crawler axe is meant for um, blue wood. The, the overgrown axe is meant for zombie and gold wood. Fire axe is meant for lava wood. So those axes aren't good at, on um, ice wood as well as the rusty axe. It, it's bad on all woods, actually. Don't know why they're in the game right now, but yeah, I guess they're just there. If they add an icewood axe, or if they add like a present like later this year that I suspect to be an icewood axe present, I am buying as many of those as possible. Not actually, maybe not that, but a lot, because I love icewood. Oh my gosh, what in the what on earth is going on here? I used to hate icewood because I used to use a method that was inefficient, but ever since I found an, this efficient method, I've loved it. I've loved it. I gotta chop these in half, alright? Yeah, I chopped that in half. Just get these chopped up, you know, if they bother you, if you ever get long pieces like that. Okay, this is about six ice trees, alright? Um, 484.3k money is what I'm starting off with. This is where the wood cell is, so you wanna back up your truck into here if you have a truck like this. Get back here, sometimes the ice wood will fling out and slide around, so it gets annoying. Put it on the conveyor, yeah. So a method I do that Tai Tai JG taught me, open the tailgate, some pieces will, oh wow, that's a lot more than I thought would, almost a little jam there, wow. All right, so what you wanna do is hop in here and press S, like back up, and maybe like turn your vehicle a little bit, like press A and B to turn your vehicle. Okay, um, and then you just have to get the rest of the ice wood into here. All right, I'm almost done selling the wood. Oh, don't, don't slide away from me. Goodness gracious. All right, so as you can see, got more money. Look at the top right corner. That's my money count, all right? So, I got about 24.3K money. About 24.3K money from that ice wood trip. Six ice trees equals 24,000 money. Now, is that good or what? Oh my gosh. Well, there's even these pieces that I forgot to sell. I guess I'll have to sell them in a future video. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, all right? Share this with as many people as you can. Obviously, don't share it to people who probably don't play Lumber Tycoon 2. Like, well, if you know, they probably don't play Lumber Tycoon 2. All right, um, but you guys get the point. Like, your lumber, like people who play Lumber Tycoon 2 or, you, or who you think might like this video, you know? Share, share, share. Who want, if someone's trying to figure out the fastest way to get ice wood, share share this video with them all right this is the true fast way all right i hope everyone enjoys their day today peace out